Welcome back, guys. So, uh, for you guys that are returning, you guys know what's going on, but the people who are new, here's what we're doing. So we are flipping one single dollar, and we're doing that by going to Goodwills, thrift stores, whatever, and we're taking that single dollar, and we're gonna keep building a fund to pay for an entire project car, which I'm building, and it's a 1973 Volkswagen Beetle. It's painted just like Herbie the Love Bug right now, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It's not even tagged still. It didn't pass inspection. It needs a lot. So this whole entire week right now, we are going to Goodwill. We're thrifting. We have $20.07 in our fund right now. What we did last week was we went to a Goodwill on a 99 cent day. So random sticker sales will be 99 cents for that item. And I bought a uh, roller coaster tycoon game. Bought that for 99 cents, starting from a dollar. 99 cents left us with one penny and we sold it for $34.95 fairly quickly, leaving us $20.07 in our fund to spend, which means we are going to Goodwill right now to see what we can find. So I'll see you guys there. All right, we're at Goodwill and somebody left their cart there. Beautiful. Best place whenever you go to Goodwill, everyone knows, is the glass case. And today it disappointed because it was nothing in there. Some overpriced youth Jordans. Then I found this creepy doll. Terrifying. I don't know what this, who the umbrella, I don't know what that is. Roshis do sell well. Uh, they used to be really hot back in the day, but they are not hot anymore. But they still do sell a little bit on eBay. This Greg Norman quarter zip. Pretty nice, good size too, but it does, I don't feel like waiting six months to sell it. Then I found this Nerf, like, two pack. I had some, like, the Velcro vests and little capture the flag thing on the back of the box just not worth it though then i saw this kohan 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 bag and i didn't know what it was so i opened it up and it was a plain travel case pretty cool then i saw these sketchers but just not not worth it and uh, these like off-brand air maxes kind of cool though kind of cool then these Brooks, but they're older models, so they just were not worth it, unfortunately. Then I spotted all these missing shoes, a pair of Echoes, and some 990 V5s, which are one of my favorite shoes. And all this stuff was just junk. I did find this, like, weird M&Ms thing right here. But it was just, it was too far gone. It was, it was very faded. Then these Phantom, like, cleats. And then some other cleats that were a little older. Do sell, but it just would take too much time. Well, that might have been one of the worst trips I've ever had at Goodwill. And somebody left that cart next to my car the entire time, so we love that. Anyway, uh, complete waste of time. There was absolutely nothing there. I spent maybe 15 minutes in there. Everything I saw was just complete junk. It was terrible. It really was bad. So uh, what we're going to do is I have to go up north anyway because, uh, fun fact, I am a realtor in Delaware. So if you need to buy or sell a house, let me know. Uh, but no, um, I have to go up that way and there's a pretty decent goodwill. It's a lot of college students, a lot of college stuff that gets dropped off. So, uh, we're going to head up there and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find something. So anytime I go to a goodwill, I also check baseball gloves. Cause sometimes I can find baseball gloves like Rollings. They sell really well on eBay and a Nerf Vulcan. They actually sell really well. And you might've seen one in the, my back seat because I've had one back there for like the longest time. Then I also found these New Balance 411s. Fortunately, they don't sell too well, so I left those, even though they're in good condition. These shoes I looked up quite a bit, and they just felt fake. I don't know what it was, but they just fell off. So I ended up leaving those, even though there would be $2.99 because they're used shoes. Then I saw this little Presto Extreme for uh, like a toddler. Could not find the other one to save my life. I looked everywhere. Then I saw these Adidas golf shoes. But the cleats were kind of going bad a little bit, and it just wasn't the best condition, and they, they probably take a little while to sell. Then I saw these. These Griffies here, they do sell, but I left them because these ones were pretty yellowed. They were a little worn on the inside. They had a little tear also in the back heel on the inside, so I did leave them. Unfortunately, they would have been a good flip. These were just a terrible time to sell those because they're insulated, but these are not bad. Again, I found some more Presto uh, Extremes. And these do sell well. So we're definitely picking these up. And especially since they're pretty dang clean. Up next, I found some free runs. 
Another good shoe to find for kids. They don't sell for much, but they do sell. And for $2.99, you cannot beat it. Then I also found these Nike water shoes. I don't really know much about them, but I picked them up. Figured I could at least still sell them for something. And then these 997Hs, these things are adorable. So I did pick those up. And as you see right there, I forgot to film a video. You see those Nikes down there? Those are some Nike cleats. They were youth, so they're $2.99 as well. And then these Dansko vegan ones, they do sell as well uh, on eBay, but they're just kind of torn and stuff. And these Adidas, they just don't sell very well. They're like the generic model. And then these, somehow I walked right past them, these Mickey Mouse ones, these Adidas, they sell really well. And they're looking at like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. So I had to pick those up. All right, so here's all the shoes we got. Here is the receipts up here so you guys don't see my credit card on there so we paid 1949 but that's because i also got the flip-flops so we paid 1794 for everything um the flip-flops i those are going to take forever for me to sell and they're really cheap so not part of the challenge but 1794 for everything and we do have enough in our little balance so let's go and just like that we ended up buying six pairs of kids shoes for the $17.94 as you already just saw on the receipt. I'm very impressed by that. I'll be completely honest with you. I was not anticipating to be able to spend almost the entire budget. $17.94 minus the $20.07. Uh, I will do the math and I'll put it over here for what we have left. But not bad at all. So I think the best thing that we could do right now is I'm heading home and I'm gonna get those all cleaned up. All I use when I clean is Rejuvenator. Uh, rejuvenator brushes very very you can get really any single type of brush and then a little bit of like dawn dish soap and a magic eraser magic eraser not the name brand stuff but like the off-brand magic eraser i bought like a 40 pack for ten dollars two years ago and i'm still rocking them oh this person is cutting in front of me nice anyway uh so we're gonna go home and do that and i will see you guys very shortly so all in all, this took me about 15, maybe 20 minutes to do. Really easy, I used a off-brand Magic Eraser. I buy a 50 pack, 60 pack, whatever, for 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll Maybe I'll put a link in the description, I don't really know, but this is what I use to clean my shoes and it goes by really, really quickly. All right, so everything's pretty much dry and I did make a mistake. You see that right there? The size tag is cut, so you don't know what size these are. But luckily, we took another eight, and the insoles fit perfectly in there. So luckily, we can tell that it's an ace. It's an 8C, and I can get these listed. So we're going to get these listed right now. It should only take me about 20 minutes, maybe. And we sold these two pairs of shoes easy, and we're going to have them shipped in three, two, one. And we're done. And somehow I forgot, uh, we're also shipping these. And there we go. This is going to Felix over in California. So I put it in a uh, like a weird little box and wrapped it up. So at first, we ended up selling the little Nike Prestos, the yellow ones. Even though they didn't have a size tag, they still sold for $15 plus $6.99 for shipping. $23.04. And after all the fun fees and shipping labels, uh, we profited $14.44 on them. So they sold for $10, uh, the Nike Sunray Protect shoes, the little gray ones. I'll show a picture, of course. Uh, $10, $6.99 for shipping, $17.97. All the way down, leaves us with $9.87. And the little football sh shoes are, yeah, Nike Vapor Edge Shark Youth Football Cleats. That's why, that's why I advertise them at. Uh, they sold for $15.95 plus the $6.99 for shipping, $23.90. Total order, and after all the, again, fun stuff, thirteen forty-seven. So after all those shoes that we bought, we were left with $2.13, which we really can't do much, but after selling those three shoes, we are now left with $39.91, and we're going thrifting. Back to the Goodwill, I found this, uh, like, Clippers attachment, which sells well for, like, 25 bucks on eBay, but it was used Then this power forearm thing. I don't even, I don't even know how it works, but it, there was none sold though, I tried. Then these Falsecraft uh, salt and pepper shaker, which were pretty cool. 
and I walked down and there was some more false graph stuff yeah all this stuff was just basic stuff uh, but yeah and I did accidentally share this video twice I don't know why and then they had this little coffee canister which is pretty cool which is not worth it though then I found this vintage Nike golf polo followed by a master's glass shot glass right here which sells really well and here's a quick uh, <coughs> show off of the fit I bought these for myself by the way not for the challenge and here is that master shot glass which if you didn't know this is for golf the master is had already is already passed so unfortunately we can't really capitalize on that so it might take a little while to sell but for 99 cents I couldn't beat it and if you saw these on the side I picked these up last week before we even had the funds to buy them, so we couldn't add them to the challenge. But these are like $100 shoes for 25 bucks. All right, we're gonna cut that short, and let's talk about the Beetle. So, if you're curious on how these brakes work, because they look different than most cars nowadays. Get this off here. Oh, I gotta use two hands, hold on. So, this is what your brake drum looks like. How this works is, you see that lip right there? How this works is your two brake pads they get pushed out by this uh, little brake cylinder here. It pushes out and all these springs here bring it back also when it's done compressing. And it'll push on the outside of here and that's what slows down the actual wheel. It's because these pads right here are hitting the outside of here, slowing down the wheel. So on the other side, uh, this is bad. So I have to replace that, which is only about $13. Um, and while I'm out here, I might as well change the pads too. They don't look bad at all. Um, they're a little, little worn, but I'm gonna swap those out. With some new brake pads, and as you can see right here, these ones are not too crazy, nothing too expensive. Then we also have this brake cylinder that we need to have. And then we also have brake fluid, and it came out to be $7.49. Now this part was so dang difficult I don't know what it is but the pin would just not come off so what it is is a little pin that goes through and then you have a little like C clip that goes around it could not get the dang thing off so this is me fighting for it for probably about 15 minutes here then we went out and we started putting everything back on and everything went back on very very smoothly again this took about 10 minutes here this is actually the first time I've ever done uh, brake drums, so it's pretty interesting. A little overly complicated, though, I'll be honest. And she's all done, so I replaced this piece and put it all back together. Absolute pain to do, but all done here. So right now I am bleeding the brakes, so basically pump up the brakes 10 times and then you release the like all the air that had built up in the lines and you just basically remove it so it's just right. straight fluid but unfortunately when i was doing that the clutch pedal decided to take a dump it broke i have no idea what broke on it but it seems like the cable broke all right so we're kind of in a standstill here unfortunately the brake pads are not working in the back the ones that we replaced the clutch pedal had broken which i just showed you and there is a massive yellow jacket nest in the corner of this house ow what did i step on you see them all? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to take a few days off the, uh, the Beetle, get that all situated. We still have three shoes in our little inventory thing, so maybe we'll sell something. Might also be replacing the brake pads, so I will see you guys in a second. So uh, it's a few days later, and unfortunately, these did not work, the new ones. So we're going to replace them, not replace them, we're going to return these at Amazon. We'll add the total back over here, but I'm going to drop these off at Kohl's tomorrow. But that's not the end of the world. I mean, they're not used at all, so we're, we're fine getting our money back. I don't know why the lighting is so bad down here. It's weird. But we actually sold two other shoes. So we sold the little Nike Free Runs. Oh, let, me, let me get the lighting. There we go. Little Nike Free Runs. And we sold the Adidas. The little Adidas Superstar uh, Mickey Mouses. Sold both pretty well, and I'll go over the um, like a quick breakdown real quick on how much we made. So we add back to the profits, and uh, we can go thrifting with it. So for the little tiny Nikes, 
Uh, the orange ones, we sold them for $14 plus $6.99 for shipping. And after all the fun fees, and actually shipping only took $4.20, we're adding $13.49 back to the collection. And then the Mickey Mouse ones, they sold for $25. It took a best offer. I think I had to list them for $29. So $25 plus the $6.99, and after all the exciting stuff, the fees, of course, and the shipping it was $5.33. $21.81, so after you add those up, we're left with $55.56. Yes, that much. Amazing to me that I turned a dollar into that so far, and if that doesn't deserve a like and a comment and maybe a subscribe, you can change your mind whenever you want to. I don't know what does. And if you're wondering, I'm sitting in my Volkswagen Beetle chair because I had to take it out of the car because the clutch pedal is being a pain in the butt. But you guys are going to watch uh, the, all the stuff that I just posted right now on Monday. And I will be having another video up on Friday. I'm thinking about trying to do two videos a week. We'll see how realistic that is. But I will see you guys in the next episode. And uh, deuces.